Well, welcome back. Uh, in the first several segments, we showed you how to mount a cylinder head to the flow bench with our uh, flow stand with the removable cylinders and the slider. We went over the valve bar setup and uh, we also went over uh, the flow guide. So we're almost ready to flow test. But before you do flow test, every single time uh, you want to qualify your bench. So every bench, I believe, comes with a qualifying plate. That's what this is. And this is sort of to standardize the bench, make sure there's nothing wrong with the bench, nothing wrong with your computer. We use our bench manually and we use the computer. So it kind of cross-checks each other. So with our, with our particular uh, plate here, uh, we, we, we have a, a certain standard that we flow. Uh, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can put it right onto the flow bench. Your flow number your, will be a little bit different there. We just put it right on top of the flow stand itself. And then we have a, a log book that we put the, the numbers in so we can check back and again to make sure that the flow bench is working correctly and that it's pre-qualified. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that here for you. Uh, we have the plate on, we have a gasket underneath it. There's no real need to bolt it down. It's going to suck down because we have intake and we're on range 4. So our bench always, always qualifies right at about 270 to 272 CFM. And again, that's the pre-check before you start flow testing. Essential if you want to be able to trust your results. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can post them down below. We'll get to as many as we can, and we'll see you in the next installment.